Welcome to Bible Buddy, and today we're reading for day number 154. We're reading from 1 Kings um, 13 to 14. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we read your word, help us understand um, your word. Open our minds and our hearts as we read. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. 1 Kings 13. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel, and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burned upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is a sign which the Lord hath spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass when King Jeroboam heard the saying, The man of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel. And he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him in his hand, which he put forth against him, dried up, so that he could not pull it again from him. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign that the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. And the king answered and said unto the man of God, Entreat now the face of the Lord thy God, and pray for me, that my hand may be restored may, may be restored me again. And the man of God besought the Lord, and the king's hand was restored him again, and became as it was before. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me, and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half of thine house, I will not go with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so it was charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. So he went the other way, and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came, told him all the words that the man of God had done that day in Bethel, the words which had spoken unto the Lord. Then they told also to their father, and their father said unto them, That way went he, what way went he? For his sons had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and rode thereon, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto them, Art thou the man of God that camest from Judah? And he said, I am. And he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat my bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go with thee. Neither will I eat bread, nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt not eat bread, nor drink water there, nor return again, to go by the way of thou camest. He said unto him, I am a prophet, also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee the, into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drank water. And it came to pass that he sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. And he cried unto the man of God, of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus said the Lord, For as much as for as much thou hast disobeyed the mouth of God, of the Lord, and thou hast not kept my commandments, which the Lord thy God commanded thee, but camest back, and hast eaten bread and drunk water in this place, of the, which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread, and drink no water, thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread, and after he had drunk, and he sattered for him the ass, to wit, for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, the lion met him by the way and slew him. And his carcass was passed in the way, and the ass stood by it, and the lion also stood by the carcass. And behold, men passed by and saw the carcass passed in the way, and the lion standing by the carcass. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, it is the man of God, who is disobedient unto the word of the Lord. Therefore the Lord hath delivered him unto the lion, which hath torn him and slain him, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake unto him. For he spake to his son, saying, Saddle me on the ass, and they saddled him. 
And when he found, went and found his carcass cast in the way, and the ass and the lion standing by the carcass, the lion had not eaten the carcass nor torn the ass. But the prophet took up the carcass of the man of God and laid it upon the ass and brought it back. And the old prophet came to the sea to mourn and to bury him. And he laid his carcass on his own grave. And they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother. And it came to pass, after they buried, he buried him, that he spake to his son, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in this sepulchre, wherein the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried by the word of the Lord against the altar of Bethel, and against all the houses of high places, which are in the cities of Samaria, shall surely come to pass. After the king, after this king of Jeroboam returned not from his evil way, and made again of the lowest of the people priests of the high places, whosoever would, he consecrated him, and became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became sin into the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it off from off the face of the earth. At that time, Abijah, the son of Jeroboam, fell sick. And Jeroboam said to his wife, Arise, I pray thee, and disguise thyself, that thou be not known to be the wife of Jeroboam. And get thee to Shiloh, behold, there is, a, there is Abijah the prophet, which told me that I should be king over this people, and take with thee ten loaves and cracknels and cruise of honey, and to go to him, and he shall, teach, shall, shall, shall tell thee what to do. what shall become of the child. And Jeroboam swiped it so, and arose, and went to Shiloh, and came to the house of Ahijah. But Ahijah could not see, for his eyes were set by reason of his age. And the Lord said unto Ahijah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee for her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus shalt thou say unto her, for it shall be. And when she cometh in, that she shall find herself to be another woman. And it was so, when Ahijah heard the sound of her feet, as she came in at the door, and he said, Come in, thou wife of Jeroboam. Why findest thou thyself to be another? For I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. Go tell Jeroboam, thus said the Lord God of Israel, for as much as I exalted thee from among the people, and made thee prince over my people Israel, and rent the kingdom away from the house of David, and gave it to thee, and yet thou hast not been as my servant David, who kept my commandments, and who followed me with all his heart, to do that only which was right in mine eyes. But thou hast done evil above all that were before thee, for thou hast gone and made thee other gods, and mote molten images to provoke me to anger and has cast me behind my back therefore behold i will bring evil upon the house of jeroboam and will cut off from jeroboam him that pisseth against the wall and him that is shut up from shut up and left in israel and will take away the remnants of the house of jeroboam as a man taketh away dung till it be all day him that dieth of jeroboam in the city shall be dogs eat and him that dieth in the field sh shall the fowls of their air eat. For the Lord hath spoken it. Arise thou therefore, get thee to thine house. And when thy feet enter into the city, the child shall die. And all Israel shall mourn for him and bury him. For he only of Jeroboam shall come to the grave. Because in him there is found some good thing toward the Lord God of Israel in the house of Jeroboam. Moreover, the house the Lord shall raise up a king over Israel, who shall cut off the house of Jeroboam that day? But what even now? For the Lord shall smite Israel as a reed is shaken in the water, and he shall root up Israel out of his good land, which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they have made their groves, provoking the Lord to anger. And he shall give Israel up because of the sins of Jeroboam, who did sin, and who made Israel to sin. And Jeroboam's wife arose and departed, and came to Tirzah. And when she came to the threshold of the door, the child died. And they buried him, and all Israel mourned for him according to the word of the Lord, 
which is spake by the hand of his servant Ahijah the prophet. And the rest of the acts of Jeroboam, how the ward, how he reigned, behold, they were written in the book of Chronicles of the king of kings of Israel. And the days which Jeroboam reigned were two and twenty years, and he slept with his fathers, and Nadab his sons reigned in his stead. And Jeroboam the son of Solomon reigned in Judah. Jeroboam was forty and one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem the city which the Lord did choose out of all tribes of Israel, to put his name there, and his mother's name was Nama, an Ammonitess. And Judah did evil in the sight of the Lord, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins, which they had committed above all that their fathers had done. For they also built them high places and images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there were also sodomites in the land, and they did according to all the abominations of the nations of the Lord, cast out before the children of Israel. And it came to pass in the fifth year of the king, Jehoabon, that Shekak, Shishak, king of Egypt, came against Jerusalem. And he took away the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king's house, and even took all away, and he took away all the shields of gold which Solomon had made. And King Jehoboam made in their stead brazen shields, and committed them into the hands of the chief of the guard, which kept the door of king's house, of the king's house. And it was so when the king went into the house of the Lord, that the Lord that the guard bare them and brought them back into the guard chamber. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoboam and all that he did, and they are not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Judah, and there was war between Jehoboam and Rehoboam all their days. And Rehoboam slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, and his mother's name was Nama Ammonitus. And Abijam, his son reigned in his stead. Okay, so let's go to Psalm number 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows, and in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing this Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget that her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. But if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief choice, my chief joy, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be, that he rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be, that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Okay, well, thank you so much for reading along, and um, I will see you tomorrow. God bless.